Hey everybody, what is going on? It is DJ, and today I'm going to be showing you the Xbox version of the How to Edit Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls. Now, you do need an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One. If you are bringing your items over to Xbox One, you're going to need an Xbox One. But you can have one anyways. I mean, whatever. You can, you can have one. Um, but basically, you're going to need the USB like last time. You're going to need the Xbox 360 at least the program the editing program as well as a new program which we'll get to in just a second um, basically what you're gonna do to get your save off of the Xbox you're going to go over I'm gonna do it as I explain it but basically you're gonna go over to your system settings and you're gonna click on system you're gonna go down to storage because you can't copy and paste saves because they, they kinda like protect them so, so you can't modify them which is really stupid but whatever so you go down to hard drive and then you click on games and apps and then you find the game which is Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls I'm gonna click on that click on the the uh, the profile that you are going to use for the save and basically now I believe I still have mine on my USB because mine isn't showing up and when you copy and um, well move over a save it actually gets rid of it off of your system because you're basically you're not copying it you're moving it completely so mine's not here so I am hoping that mine is plugged in <laughs> to the USB because if it's not then I lost it so basically once you move it over to your US to your USB you are going to need it so I have I have like four different USBs with four different saves on them um, that's the main reason why I never really used the editor again because I, I don't I don't need it uh, th these videos are just for you guys so I'm gonna unplug something I don't know what I just did okay there's the phone maybe it doesn't need to charge phones don't need to charge so it's fine all right, plug in the USB with your save from the Xbox. You should probably hear a ding. Now, apparently last time I did not get a ding. So basically what's gonna show up here, uh, you know you got the, the PlayStation ones, all that, but you're gonna have this content one right here. Now this is where your Xbox save is. Now actually, apparently I do have it, so that's a good thing. Uh, now the next thing you're gonna need is this program here, which is Horizon. Uh, this is for Xbox uh, specifically like the other one had the uh, the PS3 decryptor uh, so you're gonna need horizon uh, while that's loading up here um, I am gonna show you real quick I do have to drag it over I believe I don't I don't know why it always does this but here is the uh, the site uh, so you get familiarized so you don't click on the wrong one um, it's we mod firmly horizon uh, here's the link right here I will have it also in the description so you don't have to worry about that uh, basically I forget if it's this download button here or if it's this download button here but basically you can see that this actually looks generally the same uh, which basically it, it is horizon I mean horizons horizon but uh, this is the site here that you're gonna get it from I believe I copy and pasted the link already so I don't have to worry about that but basically you're gonna need the editor again um, if you don't have the link um, if I don't put it in the description to this video I will it, it, it's in the the previous video on the the ps3 tutorial uh, so you can get it from there uh, but basically you're gonna need the editor from the the site that is that is posted on there and you are actually going to need this here once you get it all opened up and everything you don't you don't need to log in necessarily um, you can if you want like the updated information uh, and items for next-gen consoles uh, but basically for Xbox once you have everything opened up you're going to have horizon and what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice with your USB plugged in that it actually has the USB showed up now it shows your games this is what you're gonna want to click on you're gonna want to open up the games folder it's gonna show the Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls and then the title ID you don't have to worry about that just click on this arrow here and it'll show the little logo and the 
the game save itself. It's a saved game, profile unknown, because I didn't set a profile, because you don't need one. This is just, you can do this real quick, you don't need to sign up for anything. I believe I'm signed in, I think, no I'm not, okay good. Uh, basically you're going to right click and extract the file. Now basically what you're going to do, you're going to go and to your desktop and you are going to create a new folder. Uh, now you can name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it uh, Xbox Save. Just to, just to real quick, you can name it whatever you want, that way you can keep better track. But basically you're going to want it, want that there, and then this is where you're going to save your Diablo 3, where is it here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Bam. Alright. So this here is the file that's going to be saved in there. So once you hit save, it's going to say that it successfully extracted it. Now you're gonna click on this just to make sure that it's there now as you can see here is this basically is your original save uh, that way if you need a backup this is the original save now the editor itself does make backups for you um, which is cool but it, the horizon automatically makes one as well so it's kinda like you can do whichever but basically in here I always make another folder and uh, do like main save uh, just to just just to keep track because you are going to end up replacing that later on now you're probably wondering well where are all the other files always well, basically you gotta drag this over into the blank little squarey area it's going to show you a bunch of information you're going to want to click on contents the arrow here or you want to click up here i'm going to click the arrow as you can see it shows that basically the same thing as the playstation did with the uh... the account the profile and all that So you're gonna wanna hit extract all and you're gonna find that very same folder and here it is I'm gonna hit OK it's gonna extract probably heard some noises there I don't hear it myself but you probably can basically I'm gonna click on heroes real quick I, as you see I have one hero um, keep track of the last four digits numbers letters whichever it is because you are gonna need that to replace later on so you can just minimize that once you're done and check the folder once again as you can see everything is here including the heroes so now we're gonna go into the editor and we are going to hit open now as you can see it's still set up to the PS3 one that we did yesterday I believe yesterday and we're gonna go find that save uh, the folder that we just created. Basically, you're gonna need that folder a bunch, so you might as well name it something you're gonna keep track of. Now you're gonna you want to hit uh, account dot data, and it's gonna load up. Once it does, okay, here we go. And now, um, as you can see, I have one character here. It's because I made it just simple, just to show you guys. Because I myself still I don't I don't use it anymore, so I don't really need a need a reason. But as you can see. I have items on here. Ah, oh, these are these are really old. Okay, well, we'll go. We'll go. Oh, here we go. We got some mojos. Um, spirit stone. Let's get rid of these. I don't even. I don't need those. Who needs spirit stones? But basically, I'm just gonna do one quick item. And I'm gonna do the same professional Russian's fast sword as the last video, just to show you that way it makes changes. Uh, so basically, you're gonna go down. Uh, do 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 the weapon again, yada yada yada. Do some damage. I'm gonna do this real quick so uh, we can just continue on with the video and then fill down. Do damage and then fill down. Save that so it saves over there. Item level. We're gonna do level one. Legendary seventy. Rarity. We're gonna do common rank zero because it's not a legendary gem and we'll, and we'll we won't make it invisible I thought about it alright and then we're gonna go down to the fast sword again and then we're gonna hit that just because we're gonna go and name it knight again and then we're gonna transmog it to something what are we gonna transmog it to uh, let's do um Where's that rainbow sword everybody likes so much? There it is, the spectrum. There we go. 
All right, old effect. We're gonna do the sockets. Okay. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Let's do. There's the three. Enchant. Nah, let's do two this time. We didn't do two last time. We did zero. So we'll do that. All right, and then we'll save it. We'll duplicate it a few times, like I said in the last video. Um, if you want multiple copies, just hit Control D at the same time, and it'll create duplicates if you hold them down. Um, so, all right, so we just, I'm going to save it again because uh, I, I want to, okay? And basically, once you've done that, you're going to open up Horizon again. Yeah, you shouldn't close it out. You should just minimize it. And then you're going to go to Heroes, click on it. You're going to notice, depending on how many heroes you have at the time, you are going to need to basically keep track of the last four numbers before the dot dat. So I got 122F dot dat. I just need the 122F. Uh, just keep track of that. Now I have one character, so it's pretty simple, but it does get confusing. So keep track of the last four digits, letters, whatever it may be, because you are going to need it. Now you're going to right click and then you're gonna click on replace now you probably wonder why would I want to replace that when it get rid of my stuff no it will not because you edited the one on your desktop in the folder not the one on the USB so you're replacing the one on the USB with the desktop so basically once you've done that you're gonna go to heroes and then you're gonna find the hero with the last four digits letters whatever whatever it is and you're gonna click on it just once you're gonna open it as you can see it says file replaced successfully right here basically you just hit OK and for every character that you modified or changed or put items on you're gonna want you're gonna have to replace it each time and then when you're all set and done with your characters you're gonna click on root click on account data and then right click replace the account data go back to the the main uh, folder area and you're gonna click on account dot data because you're gonna have to replace the account as well as you can see it replaced successfully now you're not all done yet now that that is like the last step now however you do have to save rehash and resign if you do not hit that and it does not say saved rehashed and resigned to device uh, I learned myself that when I plug it into the Xbox the save doesn't show up so I had to make another one because I screwed up but basically that is it now you can just exit this out you don't even need that anymore then you load it up into your Xbox 360 you go back to your system settings you go and find the folder and you you move your save from the USB device to your hard drive and then that is it now you load up the game and if you have items that you that you have for next gen console uh, such as the Xbox one and you wanna put it on your Xbox one you need to go to more down at the bottom in the in the main menu before you start up a game and you're gonna actually have to click more and then when you click more it's gonna be down at the bottom of that section it's gonna say export save you're gonna click on it it's gonna say are you sure you wanna export save to Xbox one yada 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 it's gonna give you this thing where you need to have Battle.net. I don't seem to need my Battle.net connected to the Xbox to do that. So it, it kind of does it really fast. The Xbox does it really fast. So basically it's gonna do it really fast on there. You go on your Xbox One, you load up the game, and then you go down to more, and then you import the save. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? And you're gonna hit yes. If, if you weren't sure, you wouldn't have done it. So you're gonna hit yes. and that is it everything should show up um, whether it's the level the characters the characters might be in a little bit of a different order to start out with but that's be just because it's going from old to, to new and like every update the characters kinda change around a little bit so it kinda basically th that's how it worked um, so anyways guys if you have any more questions about the Xbox version um, my gamer tag for every system whether it be my, my Facebook page my Xbox, PlayStation, whatever it is, it'll be in the description. So you can just send me a message, or I believe my Facebook has an email link or something like that. Um, you can hit me up on there if you have any further questions. So without further ado, uh, until next time, guys, peace out.